at all times. Any unattended baggage will be removed and may be destroyed by security services. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dad Rail live stream at the slightly later time of 2045. Unfortunately, the um, station clock doesn't update, so uh, it's a bit of a shame. But yeah, we're going to be starting at 2045, so in about 10 minutes' time. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap.
Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be starting in approximately three minutes time. We're running a little bit late, um, but uh, that's just me. I'm normally running late, as you know. Yes, we should be starting in about three minutes time, so have your drinks and light refreshments ready.
please remain behind the yellow line at all times. Trains pass through this station at high speed and can cause turbulence. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. That was just a test. Don't post. That was a test. Everybody, how are we all doing tonight? Hope you're all good. Uh, great comment I saw then by Jason H saying, uh, if we were in... Oh, I can't find that. Yeah, Jason H, if this was Japan, you'd been fired already. <laughs> yep, can't disagree with you there. We are... Um, should have been 2045 start tonight. We are a little bit late. I do apologise. It's uh, due to children misbehaving. Let's put it that way. They didn't want to go to bed when they should have done. So, uh, But we're all good. We're all good. We're here now. So we're going to be doing all the usual features tonight, guys. We've got uh, locomotive location livery with a picture from Joshua uh, 11. Let's play Check locomotive out. livery location. There we go. And we're also going to be jumping in and out of the Discord server, as we always do. And if you want to post to the Discord server, live stream pictures page, invitation link to the Discord server in the description below. Just before we jump in, guys, as always, all the opinions expressed in this video are solely my own, blah, 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 may not represent those of companies I may be employed by or associated with or any of that good stuff. So we're going to be doing the Tees Valley line tonight, um, which is a route I've done about two uh, twice off camera. I picked this up in the midweek madness sale for about a tenner, so it's a really good deal. So... Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll jump in with a 101 and see how we get on. 33 of you lovely people in tonight, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be awesome. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. Uh, right, where are we? Um, Tease Valley. I shall uh, get started, then I'll go through the chat and uh, see if I can't answer some of your questions as always. Yeah, we'll do the 101. It's about a half an hour run, so we'll do the 101, then we might jump into Class 20 or a 37 or a 31 and do a, another half an hour run or so. We'll see how we get on. Um, okay, where are we? 10.50, Middlesbrough to Darlington. Operate an all-station stopping service along the Tees Valley line. That sounds good to me. Uh, so Jack, who is the voice of the locomotive location, uh, locomotive livery location? Um, that was a voiceover artist that created that, and I used a website called Fiverr um, to commission that work. I can't remember what the guy's name is, um, but yeah, really, really good. I'm actually going to get some more made um, by the same chap. I'll see if I can see if I can find his name for you and post it. Dan H, love a good twenty. Is there such a thing, Dan? <laughs> right here we are. Here we are. Let's see if I can remember how to get this thing going. Right. Uh, there's a key somewhere down here, isn't there? Well, hey, keys in, handles in. Right, let's get the doors open. Unlock right. And we're going to be stopping at Fornaby, uh, Eagles Cliff, Allens West, Dinsdale, and finally Darlington. I still need to get a new mouse. The scroll wheel is really bad. I say that every stream. I just haven't got around to buying one. Right, engines are running. Um, let's get some lights on the front. I can't remember how to do this. I think there's a switch over here for lights. Uh, train lights on. Brake lights off. That's like the... Um, I think brake lights is like the uh, tail lights, isn't it? Do we not have headlights on these? Quite possibly we don't have headlights. Never mind. Never mind. I'll put something in the destination display. <coughs> Where are we going? I can't remember. <laughs> Did we go into Darlington? Or are we at Darlington? 
That'll do. That'll do. Right. It, it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter. Right. Lock doors. So vacuum braking on this. Which is lovely. Everyone likes some vacuum brakes. Into forward. First gear. And fingers crossed. We have a green signal. Fingers crossed. This is going to work. Let's get you some game audio on as well. I always forget to press the game audio button. Well, hey, we are off. She is working. Look at that. Yeah, certainly it's a bit more of a challenge in Drive the 101 with the gears and stuff. Uh, left panel. Ah, oh, marker lights. There we go. Got ya. Cheers, guys. Fantastic. I quite like the 101 on diesel railcar simulator because you can use joystick control on that, which makes it a lot easier with the gears and stuff. Right, come on. Where's my power at? 45 we're good for. 2.8 miles to Fornaby. Uh, East Midlands, the 37 and the 31 does. I believe the um, 31 you have to purchase separately. Oh, hey, she's running. She's running. Uh, yeah, train spot from Berkshire. We can certainly turn the game audio up a bit. No problem at all. Um, let me know how that is, guys. So, if I remember rightly, we should be coasting in gear four. Uh, we don't want to be coasting yet, though. We're not quite. Um, Durafest think you just set them to red. Uh, no, we're all good on the front there, bud. We are all good. Dan H, I would say this is too loud. <laughs> right, we'll knock it down a bit, Dan. No worries. That should be somewhere in the middle now. Let me know. Not an issue either way. We can, get, we can go up or we can go down. Ronald Macklemore, hello. Welcome to the stream. So, 41 of you lovely people in tonight, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. Just a few subs away from the Magic 10k now. Am I going to get to 10k in tonight's stream? That is the big question. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Right, we'll get to Fornaby and then I think we'll have our first round of locomotive location delivery. All coasting done in fourth, says Jason. Yeah, that's what I thought. Until you get, I think it's below 10 miles an hour, and then you go into neutral or first, I want to say. Hey, Richard, how are you doing, bud? Long time no speak. Good to see you here. George B, hi. Right, let's get her going. We're going downhill. We've got a 50 coming up. Um, get her up to about 45 then. We're in fourth gear, aren't we? Yeah. Just where we want to be. So, how are we all doing tonight? Jurafest 76, see you have the steam, see you have steam already. Mr. Quicko, was that spirit of steam we just saw? Um, you didn't see anything, guys. You saw nothing. <laughs> uh, what is the keybind for the Gears East Midlands? It's Control and A um, to change up, Control and D to change down. Roy Michael Taylor, good evening. I'm enjoying your streams. Good evening to you, bud. Thank you very much. Southeast Rail Productions, good evening and welcome. Yeah, I suppose we'd better consider getting some braking. We've got vacuum braking, which is not great at the best of times. So it's kind of put some braking in hope for the best. 
put a bit more brake in and hope for the best. Come on, slow down, where's my brakes? If you, if you can't tell, then I've, I've never driven vacuum brake stock before. I know vacuum brakes can be really, really bad. Oh, there we go. Of course, it's lap and release, isn't it? That's why I wasn't, in the, I wasn't even in the brake position. Because it's, yeah, zero's lapped off and then you've got the release position as well. Any stop we walk away from is a good stop. <laughs> Not too shabby. Considering I didn't have a clue what I was doing, I'll take that. <laughs> Not too bad at all. Right, okay, let's play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Oliver's Trains, I love myself a first gen. Yeah, everyone does. Everyone does. George B, do you do giveaways? Oh, I don't, George, no. If someone gives me something to give away, I'll happily give it away. Peter, yeah, a lot more braking. Dan, just call 15 um, inches of Mercury initial. No, we didn't overrun. That was no tea and biscuits. That was a good stop. That was a good stop. Okay, Trainspot from Berkshire, you are the third number on my screen with number nine, so... Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Let's reveal what's behind box number nine. I've got a funny feeling that you'll get it just off this one box. I think that was a good, good shout. <laughs> See what I mean? That was, that was like... You couldn't, have, you couldn't have picked a better box there. You really couldn't. Everyone's just going to... Everyone's got... Everyone's going to get that straight away. Let me know what you're thinking, guys. Let me know what you're thinking. Right, let's get back to it. I didn't go into neutral, did I? Which was really bad on the gears. Okay, so, right, we're controlling D down into first. Um, we're going to release the brake. Full release. And give it some power. Off we go. It might help if we lock the doors first. Oh, they are locked. What's going on? Right, okay. I'm completely out of practice. Oliver's Trains, Large Lego 37, Southeast Rail Productions, DRS 37. Mr. Quicko Gaming, what is that? The Mighty Whoosh, it's a train. You're not wrong there, bud, you're not wrong there. Ryan's Trains and Buses, I like the 101 horn. We can do that. Better from the outside. Right, okay. Gear up. What's our speed good for? We're coming up to a 45. Southeast Rail says 37403 at Pickering. Roy Michael Taylor, I drive a class 44 on a heritage railway. I'm in the middle of training on a class 25, so much different. I'd like to volunteer at my local heritage store. It's probably the, it's probably the Spa Valley or the Kent and East Sussex. I'd probably go to the Spa Valley, but I, I just haven't got time to do it, unfortunately. I'd really, really enjoy volunteering at Heritage Railway. I think if I was to volunteer at the Heritage Railway, though, I'd probably want to do signalling or um, conducting or something like that. Because obviously, I do, I do driving for the day job, so it'd be quite nice to do something different. Pig and Bob, good evening, welcome. Yeah, no need to apologise for being late. I was late myself, but you, you, I mean, you kind of expect it from me. Right, Eagles Cliff is 2.3 miles away. We've got a 50 coming up. Let's see if we can't get it going. Yeah, Oliver's trains, I mean, I, mean, I, I never had to suffer paces. Oh, look at that, 20, it's beautiful. Yeah, I never had to suffer paces. Um, but I must say, yeah, I, I do like paces. So 
sorry, the kids are being naughty behind me and mum rouse, mum rouse shouting at them. I was getting a bit distracted. Yeah, no, I, um, I, I, I did like Pacers. I lived up north for a little while, so I used to travel on them uh, relatively regularly. I should imagine the people that had to suffer the day in, day out commuting on them would have uh, completely different opinions. Ronald, do you play with motion blur on or off? I believe motion blur is off. Um, but I would need to double check that. Should we have a quick look? Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. Camera sway. Camera motion sway on. Is that the one? Um, motion blur is on. Yeah. Did you want me to turn it off? Is it is it better with motion blur off? Let me know. Is it, is it better with it off? Mr. Quicko, do you have the uh, heavy freight pack? Um, I've got quite a lot of the freight stuff on this. So I've got the 20, the 31, the 37. Um, I've got the 47 on here as well. So yeah, quite a, I've got quite a lot of the freight stuff on here. Uh, Northern Princess Productions, I lived in Burnley for six months. GJ Barnard, I recently got an Alexa. Sorry, everybody. Uh, so I wonder what it'd be like to control a train with one. Alexa, close. Yeah. Alexa, close the doors, please. Alexa, apply the brakes. Alexa, we're going to spat. Alexa, Alexa, Alexa. <laughs> I, I think that, that would be the end result. result. Right, we're in fourth, we're coasting. We're 0.9 miles from the station. Let's see if we can perform a bit better with this braking this time. <laughs> the mighty wish. Alexa, develop a fault so I can fail this train and go home early. Yes, lots of trains don't need any help with that. Ah, oh, you must be southeast then, Peter. Uh, Richard, the train spotter, and more. Yeah, we definitely need to arrange that. I want to come back up to uh, to Manningtree and get the drone up. Right here we are, coming into Eagles Cliff. Trains are cool. Have you ever had a spat? Uh, I've never had a spad that was my fault, as in a Category A, touch wood. Um, it's all too easy, unfortunately, to have an incident. I've had spads where the signal's gone back in front of me, but never one that's that's been my fault. I'm trying to be a little bit more gentle with the brake. Apparently I'm being far too gentle. Oh, no, come on, stop. Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> well, we stopped. Just about. I'll take it. I'll take it. If everyone's smart speaker went off. I do apologise for that. Hey, Google. Just, just for sort of, you know, make sure we've got a bit of equality going on so the Google users don't feel left out. <laughs> Should we try this? Alexa, subscribe to Dad Brown on YouTube. Alexa, blow the horn. Right, I'm, I'm going to stop saying that name. Alexa, set the lights to purple. Oh, I didn't put the thing into neutral again, did I? Right, stop at Allen's West, 0 0.6 miles, and our signal is... It's not red. I know that much. That sign is upside down, look. Ooh, never mind. Let's go. Mr. Quicko, what about Hey Siri? Uh, Northern Princess, what's the difference between a spad and a spa? 
I'm not entirely sure actually. I think it might be the same thing, or one might relate to a stop board or a fixed signal. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, guys, let's play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Should we change gear? It does help if you change gear. Jonathan, hello and welcome to the street. Peter, my lounge is now purple. Brilliant. We can have lots of fun with this. It's the northeast, everything is falling apart. Right, trains are cool. You are the third one on my screen with number five. Which I'm going to make a note of because I didn't realise how close we were to the next station. Right, so let's coast in full because we're driving properly. Let's get a little bit of braking. So I'm going to reduce the train pipe down to about 10 maybe. Is that a good place to be, do we reckon? That's bringing us in not too bad. I think I'm getting used to this. That was that was a bit better. Well, I didn't go into neutral again. I forgot the neutral. Right, okay. Let's play locomotive livery location. Trains are cool. Number five. Let's reveal box number five. Is that doing anything for your location, guys? Can you get the location off of that? Northern Princess. It's County Durham. Everything is falling apart. It's not the northeast. The Flying Scotsman, welcome to Dad Rail. Everybody, please stay off the tracks. The Flying Scotsman is coming. Stay off the tracks. I had to say that, didn't I? Right. A box bike. Northwest Train Spotting, great stop. Thank you very much. Oliver's Train's got to go. Bye. Thanks very much for joining us, Oliver. Much appreciated, bud. Okay, right. I'm pressing the wrong buttons now. That should be in forward. That is correct. Uh, control and uh, D into first. Brakes are off. Train pipes coming up. And we get some power in. Right, 4.3 master Dinsdale. Laser Jet says class 37, Glasgow Central. Transport from Berkshire, large logo 37, Glasgow Central. Northwest Transport, National Railway Museum. Jonathan, BR Class 37 at Glasgow Central. Northern Princess Productions. Large Lego 37 in Edinburgh or Glasgow Central. Some good guesses going there. Trains are called cool. New Street. Ah, oh, the gear didn't change. It hasn't gone all the way in. Right, come on. Come on. Let's get it going. That's when drivers were drivers. Not like now on 700s where you've just got one lever, stop and go. These old trains, you actually have to drive them, it's lovely. <laughs> South East Rail, 37403 at Pickering. Where's Pickering? I don't know where that is. So, 63 of you lovely people watching tonight, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. All so, so close to that 10,000 subscriber mark now, it'd be absolutely brilliant to reach that to reach that tonight would be awesome yeah Peter Green the exact opposite of ATO definitely Jack Transport hello animated level crossings lovely So we take our power back to neutral, up into fourth gear, and then we can bring the power back in slowly again. Peter Green, at least there isn't a foot clutch as well. 
Was there ever a thing on a low coat with a, with a clutch? I mean, I expect it was. It must have been some, maybe some narrow gauge stuff. Certainly an interesting, certainly an interesting unit to drive the 101, that's for sure. Trains are cool. Are you the father of rail? No, I am the father of four children who happens to be a train driver. Um, the name Dad Rail comes from the fact that my children were supposed to do this YouTube channel with me. So it was it was Dad Rail because it was me and my children making railway videos, railway modelling, playing games, going on days out. And then they decided they didn't like trains. So, But I've got a three-year-old who may like trains. His favourite... His favourite show on Netflix is Titty Po, which is like a Japanese version of Thomas the Tank Engine. So there's there's still hope. No, says Mum Rail. <laughs> um, so Jack, yeah, I've been on several purple trains, but only like out of Paddington. I haven't actually been through the Crossrail section, the um, Elizabeth Line core section through London. Yeah, I haven't done that. Jack, I am now a volunteer on the Bodmin and Wentford Railway. Uh, Northwest train spotting. The 101 is a DMU. I think it's a um, diesel hydraulic multiple unit. Uh, in actual fact, yes. Yeah, so EMU is electrical multiple unit. DMU diesel multiple unit. <laughs> Northern Princess Productions disown the kids and adopt me. <laughs> Durafast at um, uh, T T Po T I T I P O. <laughs> I've I've just lost I've just lost one pound fifty from this video from YouTube. I've been demonetized for saying that. Who am I kidding? One pound fifty, more like twenty p. Right, where are we? 1.5 miles from the station. Let's jump over to Discord, guys, see what you people have been posting over there. Pig and Bob, 08, and the Crompton. 70s, 220s, Cromptons. Are they 08s or 09s? I always get the 08s and the 09s mixed up. I can never, never tell them apart with them uh, officially. Other than looking at the numbers on the side. Crompton looks beautiful. I need to get the Crompton for train scene. That's still on my, uh, my list of two, two guys. If you want to join the Discord server, guys, you can do. There is a link in the description below. It'd be great to see you over there. And if you want to post your pictures, you can do. We're in the live stream pictures page. Right, we're 0.9 miles out, so I guess we better think about getting some braking. Let's see if we can get a reasonably good stop. So I'm going to drop the train pipe, I think, to about um, 10 up there. 10 inches, inches of mercury or something, I think it's measured in, isn't it? Well, there's a 30 there as well, so. Peter, I remember the days when 20p bought you a coffee. I think we can release that, we've got laser room. I don't, I don't quite remember that far back, Peter, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but I do remember being at school and you could go down the chip shop and you used to pay about 70p for a portion of chips on your lunch break. I, I remember that. I remember when pay phones used to be 10p and then they went up to 20p and then... I think 40 of these are outrageous. Okay, let's get some more brakes in. Oh, I dropped that down to about 15, I think. So when I say drop it down, I'm talking about the uh, green gauge next to the speed of the TP, the train pipe. Oh, it's not looking like a bad stop. Pig and Bob, it was 08604 in the Discord server there. Spoke too soon about being a good stop. Everyone spilt their coffee, but we have stopped. Unlocked doors on the left. Trains are cool. Do you know Jeff Marshall? Uh, I have met Jeff Marshall, um, but I don't know him. Um, I don't know him personally to sort of go up and speak to. I mean, it, it may be that he remembers me. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I don't know him socially, so to speak. Peter Green, yeah, the BT phone card. God, 
dear, oh dear. Lock doors. We are off to Darlington at 11.20. That is our final stop as well. It's quite a short... Uh, done it again. Come on. It's quite a short little run, this route. Um, but it's a nice it's a nice route. Um, come on, what have I done? What have I done? We're in forward. What's going on? Okay. Um, gears. First. Why is it giving me an X? Have I taken the key out or something? I have. That's not helpful, is it? Right, we are off. Uh, Brad Saf M, got any tips for someone going on their part six? Uh, what I would say, Brad, is make sure you're well rested before you go into it. Um, they're not trying to catch you out on anything. So, going in for your part six, make sure you're driving safely. If you're not sure about anything, ask. The whole, the whole idea of the part six is just to make sure you're competent and you're safe out there. No one's expecting you to be absolutely perfect. I'm assuming you've done probably 225 hours or some, somewhere around there. Nobody's expecting your driving to be absolutely perfect. What they are expecting it to be is 100% safe. So always err on the side of caution. If there's anything you're not 100% sure about, ask. And I, I'm not sure what it is now. When I done my part six, it was a, um, a week long uh, assessment. So use that opportunity to build up a rapport with your managers and get to know them a little bit as well. If you drop me a message on Discord, I'll be happy to, uh, to give you a few more tips. Too far on the gears. For anyone, anyone wondering what a part six is, it's like your final driver's assessment. It's like a week long used to be a week-long assessment, so it'd be uh, practical driving, questions, static day in the depot, simulator handling. Uh, yeah, Arthur's Transport Productions, that's right, I was in a uh, all the stations video, one of the videos. Cheeky Fox, hi from North Germany. We have 66001 stabled here at the moment. Lovely. Northwest Train Spotting, yeah, a few people have mentioned SCR. Um, I've been a little bit reluctant, but never say never. It could happen. Never say never. Never, ever, ever say never. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Right, we've got a 35 coming up here, 1.9 miles. Let's play a game. I don't think my driving in the 101's been too bad. I think I've uh, slowly got used to it. I love the clickety clack. It's very nostalgic. Jack Newell, good evening. Good to see a route in the north. To be fair, not one I've done yet. Yeah, we did do the Northern Trans Pennine last week, Jack. So um, we. we we're doing a little bit of up north stuff. We'll have to jump back in the calf cart as well, do some Scottish. Uh, Jonathan Garfrell, you are the third one on my screen with number 10. Um, 35 coming up, 1.6 for Darlington. I'm going to start slowing down for the 35, and whilst I'm doing that, we shall play again. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. I am revealing box number 10. I think most people have got the traction, guys. So um, I don't think I think maybe one person's got the lo the location. I'm still looking, still looking for a location on this. What are you thinking? Do let me know your thoughts. Pig and Bob, ten more subscribers until Dabrow hits 10k. 65 of you lovely people watching, if you haven't already, hit that like button and consider subscribing. 10k by the end of the stream would be awesome. Right, 35 coming up, let's get some break in. 
definitely a 37, says Jonathan. Southeast Rail Productions is sticking with Pippery. Transport for Barclays, DRS Large Logo 37 Glasgow Central. Still didn't get down for that 35, did I? Gonna have a really poor score on this. Right, platform two at Darlington. Um, we should be in gear four for coasting, we are. Arthur's Transport Productions, bonus railway. Jurafar Simic, shame spirit of steam will not have it. I'd like to have heard clickety clack as well as the chuff chuff. Hopefully, we get it resolved pretty soon. Oh, this is a really terrible approach. Paying too much attention to the chat, guys. Not enough to my driving. And there's a 15 coming up as well, right. A bit more break. Jonathan doesn't think it is Glasgow Central anymore. Yeah, I will say with the spirit of steam, um, Dovetail have been kind enough to, to give the ambassadors early access to it. Um, I'm not allowed to show it or release any content for it until the embargo. Um, uh, I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. It's good. It's good. Get, gets a thumbs up from me. Right, let's make sure we don't hit the buffer stops. That would be that would be totally tragic if we've done that. Let's make sure we make it to the buffer stops as well. No, come on! He's gonna hit the stops! <laughs> I think we got away with it. I don't think anyone noticed. <laughs> yeah, six foot gov. That's why they put buffers on the front of the train, you see, to absorb the shocks. You can, you can get away with stuff like that. <laughs> How did we do? That's, that's got to be a really poor performance. Yeah, yeah tea, tea and biscuits, biscuits there, for sure. Did I really get a gold medal for that performance? I hit the buffer stops at the end. Come on, what is going on? And they still give me a gold. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, Peter, ouch, that's got to hurt. <laughs> I can't believe that. Stop accuracy was actually pretty good. Look, I think that's probably why. Other than Darlington, where I was like nearly five yards off, everywhere was pretty much bang on. Eagles Cliff, not so good, but... What kind of tea and biscuits they got in the office today? Uh, ginger nuts. Yeah, South East Rail Productions. Yeah, we just, just, just kissed the buffer stops there. It was fine. See, if you'd done that in a modern train, if you'd done, if you'd done that in like a Class 700 or something, you'd smash the coupler up and cause all sorts of damage. These old trains, they were built to take it. You could thrash them about and, you know, they were, they were built to take it. They'd just keep going and going and going, unlike these, these temperamental modern plastic things. Anyway, rant over. <laughs> what have you guys been posting in Discord? Let's take a look over there. 66. I'm trying to work out where that is. I feel like I should know where that is. Um, but I don't recognise it. 69 on the gypsum, Luke has posted. Down at Eastleigh. PG 350, 150. Is that 150? That is a 150, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Loads of you posting over there at the moment. Right, should we do another run on the game? We've got locomotive location delivery to finish off. We've only been streaming for about half an hour. Um, 40 minutes. So yeah, I think we can do another run. Um, we'll do some. We'll do something freight, as this is kind of primarily a freight route. So we have a choice of locomotives. We won't do the 08 because I don't fancy doing shunting. So we do the 37, the 20, or the 31. Um, let me know in the chat, guys, which one of those you would like me to do. I'd, I'd quite like to have a go in the 31, but you guys, uh, you got, you guys, tell me what ones you want to do. 
Peter Green, St. Ives Branch Line. Now, we'll, we'll stay on the Tees Valley for now, Peter. Um, I should revisit the West Cornwall local at some point, though. Maybe, yeah. I'll tell you what, Peter. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do West Cornwall local in the next stream. Um, which will possibly be on Saturday. I'm, I'm waiting for my work roster to come out. Northwest says the 37, Ronald says the 20, GJ says the 20, Arthur's Transport 37, 37, 37. 1, 2, 3, 4 for the 37. Pig and Bob says 20. The 31's not getting much love here, guys. Strongly recommend the 20 or the 31. Yeah, I th I th I'm going to have to go with the majority and do a 37 run. I, did I didn't want to do a 37 run, I must admit, but we'll go, we'll go with the majority. We'll go with what the majority want. Should we make it a little bit more interesting? Let's have some light rain and a little bit of wind. Okay, so uh, driver train of loaded coat wagons back to T's yard for onward shipment. That's a half an hour run. Um, Uh, 1407, so that'd be daylight. Yeah, let's give that one a go. Oh, Nigel's giving the 31 some love. Thank you, Nigel. We, we all go the 37. The, major the majority seem to want the 37. So I think this is a different 37 to the one that's provided um, the West Cornwall local, if I remember rightly. So I have not been in this locomotive at all, so this is going to be quite interesting. Um... So most BR English electric locomotives are quite similar in the cab setup. So we can get the AWS in. Exactly the same as a 73 and lots of other English electric stuff. Right, what have we got outside? 137 and loaded coke wagons. Only a short little train, though. Right, let's get some headlights on. Um, interior lights, interior lights, tail lights, route indicator. Um, we don't want tail lights. Instrument, instrument lights we can have. There we go, right. Perfect. So where is the headlight switch? You would have thought, logically, it's going to be on the same panel, isn't it? If I press the L key, is that cheating? Or is it the H key? Oh, there we go. A little switch there. Okay. So we are correctly lit. Although now we have no... There we go. Actually, technically in the yard, we shouldn't have our headlight on in the yard. We should be marker lights only while we're in the yard, so I shall turn that off. Right, let's get a key in. Let's see if I can get this to work. Right, into forward. Um, what is our braking configuration on this? Um, goods timing, and I think we're on air brakes. Uh, windscreen wipers are down there somewhere. Same sort of windscreen wiper arrangement as the Class 73s um, on these. Right, loco brake full on. Let's charge up the train brake. There we go. So brake pipe has come up. So let's take a little bit of power and see if we can't get this train moving. got amps, so we're going to take the direct brake off. Fingers crossed she's going to start moving. A little bit more power. Maxwell, no worry. How was Scouts, bud? We are wheel slipping already. Just give it a little bit of power, let us sort herself out.
Let me know if the game audio is alright guys. If you want the game audio up or down or anything else, then do let, do let me know. Um, no different traction gives us different sort of volume levels and stuff. She is moving, she is moving. Right, as we're coming through the yard, let's play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. I have found, because I've had a play on the 20 and I've had a play on the 31 as well. And with this English electric locomotives, once you, once you can drive one of them, they're kind of, they're all very similar in terms of the layout and everything else. Um, exactly the same in real life. And it was kind of a lot of stuff was standardized. So when it comes to driver training and maintenance and stuff like that, it was much easier to train someone on a new type of locomotive if it was very similar to another. Um, you can reduce your training course, training time massively. Uh, Maxwell, you are actually the third one on my screen with number 16. Let's play. Let's play. Locomotive livery location. We're taking out box number 16 for Maxwell. Now, I think we're more trying to get the location now, guys, like I say, because I think most people have got the fact that uh, what that train is. We may or may not be driving one of them in a slightly different livery. What are your thoughts on the, um, the location, though? There's a lot of 10 mile an hour running through the yard here. That's where I wish we'd like to speed up the game. So, 63 of you lovely people in tonight, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing, that would be awesome. 10 more subs and we make it to the magic 10k, which would be brilliant. I can also, um, I can also reveal to you guys, there will be a new video going live tomorrow evening um, at around 5 o'clock. So, the video has already been released, all Patreon supporters already have access to the video. Um, if you want to find out more about that, Patreon slash dad rail um, so we'll go on general release at five o'clock tomorrow evening and that is a video all about um, the train driver's bag and what we carry in our bag equipment wise and um, personal effects and stuff like that so that that has already been filmed it's already been uploaded that will be going on the public general public release tomorrow at five o'clock 1700 hours as we should say Maxwell speed round. <laughs> Shunting's one of those things, it can actually be um, a really, really high risk activity. Because of the low speeds involved in shunting, um, it's really easy to become distracted and bored and stop paying attention. When you're travelling along at a higher speed, your attention level tends to be a lot higher than when you're, you're creeping along at this. And yards are generally quite dangerous places, you've got lots of train movements all at once, you've got people on the ground, you've got lots and lots going on so you actually need to maintain still a good level of concentration even even when you're in the yard traveling at slow speeds so yeah you do get um it's, it's quite interesting actually like you look at the number of spads and stuff like that out on the main not just in the yards but out on the main line as well and the majority of spads are at relatively low speed it's, it's not very often um you get sort of high speed spads most spads are do occur at, at low speeds Dad rail or derail? Northern Princess Productions. Um, I think I've got four or five in my bag. I do show them on the stream. I've got, a, I've got on the um, video. I've got a limited edition Thameslink 700 one as well. Oh, this is painful. This is painful, guys. Painful. Mr. Quicko, can we look at the pictures again, please? Yeah, no worries, bub. We'll jump over to Discord. Oh, it is slow. I've only ever been to Slough once that I can remember, and that was on the um, the London Transport Race 
that I'd done a video on the YouTube channel somewhere. And we went to Slough to get um, bonus points because we needed to see a bus at its most western terminus, which just happened to be Slough. If you want to post stuff in the Discord server, guys, you can do. There is an invitation link in the description below, as always, and we are in the live stream pictures page. Look, I'm speeding, I'm speeding. Yeah, red signal coming up. Red ahead. Oh, when I when I left South Eastern, my, my previous employer, to join my current employer, um, I was quite fortunate they let me keep all my keys. Simon, that whole yard and all the jobs in it are painful. Where's the signal? I did not see the signal. <laughs> That's harsh. There were... Was there a ground position signal that I just wasn't paying attention to? I, d I did not see the signal. I get, I get to that. Not, not, having, not, not having correct route knowledge. There must have been a ground position video or something there. I did not. I was aiming for that main aspect signal. There you go, you see. A aiming for the main aspect and you, you end up having a spad. Um, importance of route knowledge. We'll have another go with something that hasn't got. We're still, we're still doing it. We'll do it in the light rain because that just makes it more interesting, I think. Ground signal. It was a small signal. Yeah. I was re reading the chat, not paying attention. Sorry, guys. Um. Right, we don't want to do a mega long run. I think that's the one we just done, wasn't it? Something loaded would be quite good. Drive a loaded coat wagons to red car or terminal. <laughs> Northern Prince of Production. Literally within two minutes of him talking about slow speed spads, he has one. I know. Is this going to be the same thing? Are we just going to be going for, for like miles at slow speed? Or is this one not going to be too bad? We'll try again. We'll try not try not to spam. Hey, I have a second man. Hello. Drunk weather videos. Hello, welcome to the uh, welcome to Spadrail stream. Right, wipers on. Brake wipers come up. Loco brake off. Let's get her going. She's slipping a lot there. Now she's found the feet now. At least we can do 15. Yeah, no, uh, Sinestia. Sin S. Is that Sinestia? Yeah. <laughs> um, the old method of teaching describe, demonstrate, do with, do with that span, yeah. No, that's exactly what I was doing, guys. I was kind of demonstrating the risks for actually doing it rather than just talking about it, you know. So practical demonstration always works better. 
again, yeah, it does does really highlight that importance of, the importance of route knowledge. Right, there's a green signal coming up. Main aspect signal. <laughs> Locomotive location delivery. The game should be replaced with place your pets and whether Dad Brown will spad again. Max, I'm not entirely sure why that is. I thought we had fixed that problem. Let me just see if I can fix that for you now. Uh, where are we? Live stream. Sorry guys, I'm in Git Discord trying to fix something quickly. Uh, missions. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that, Max. Um, I tell you what I'll do. Try that now, Max. Hopefully that should work for you. So, 62 of you lovely people watching, I'll say it again. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. And if you know anyone that might enjoy my content, my um, train driver vlogs or um, my general railway content on my simulator videos, train simulators, then please do feel free to share the channel with them. Let them know. Um, that would be absolutely Formby used to be, or Formby used to be, one of the busiest freight yards in Europe. It's nearly all gone now. There's so much freight infrastructure, and infrastructure in general, that's been taken out over the years, and it, it does seem to me, at the moment, like that they're kind of missing a lot of it. There's a lot of freight infrastructure being put back in, with the the drive to go to all sort of carbon neutral and low emissions and stuff like that. Um, rail freight pack plays a massive part in that. So the fact that a lot of these freight yards and pathways and freight only cores and stuff are closed. Is, um, is certainly a shame, and uh, yeah. But I think I think we're we're entering a new generation for rail freight, sort of a new a new glory era, if you like. Maxwell working now, fantastic. Creeping out the yard, nice and slow. Green, we're not going to spad. We're not going to spad. Okay, yeah. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Yeah, drunk weather videos. I think we're about 10 subscribers away from 10k, which is uh, which is amazing. Rafe, hello. How are we doing? Uh, Simon, no, I'm not using a rail driver, I'm just using um, keyboards, unfortunately. I do like the idea of a rail driver, but they're just, they're just ridiculously expensive. Okay, Southern Transport 466, you are here, the third one on my screen, with number six. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Let's have numbers. for a, um, a consensus on the location. What are we all thinking location-wise? Is there anything there that gives it away? It did look a bit like, like sort of Waterloo to me, but it's, I can tell you it's not Waterloo. It is, um, it is north of London. I'm not saying how far north of London, but it's north of London. It looks like we can get going in a minute. Toton, is that Toton or Totten? Used to be a massive yard, but not anymore. Ronald Macklemore, in America, the freight is still running strong. Yeah, it is in the UK, largely, Ronald. The, 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 the rail freight sector is, is really big. There is a lot of freight on rails. Um, there's not, there is definitely isn't as much as there used to be, unfortunately, but it is something that's, that's picking up. But yeah, there is, 
is still a considerable amount of freight moved by rails. Edinburgh, Waverley says Max. Liverpool, Lime Street says Max. Which one is it, Max? Jonathan said it's not Glasgow. Too recent for Manchester Victoria pre built Lime Street, Wilsden, some trains line. Ben S, yay, 10k subs. Have I have have I got to 10k? Welcome Oliver to Dadrail. Is Oliver, it is quite possibly, it's quite possible, Oliver is subscriber, if you're watching Oliver, it's quite possible you are subscriber number 10,000. I, I, I eagerly await for someone to verify that. Ah, oh, beautiful, 68. Lovely locomotives. And me and Jeff Marshall. And me looking my absolute best there as well. Hey, we <laughs> It looks like it looks like guys we've got to 10k. That is that is that is awesome. Myself in it, but it's like, yay, 10k! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm rather, rather pleased with that. But no, seriously, it's, it's, it's thanks to you guys. I mean, making the videos and doing the streams and everything else. It's uh, you know the feedback I get from you guys, having having the chat with you, and being able to answer your questions, and um, people that message me and stuff like that. You know, it really makes it all worthwhile. So um, YouTube doesn't pay a great deal of money at all. Um, so, you know, huge thank you. It's like, a, it's like an acceptance speech at the Oscars. So, <laughs> huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters and everything. Really appreciated. Um, but simply by watching the streams and being in the chat, you're supporting me more than you'll know. So, uh, yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much, everybody. That is. Uh... <laughs> uh, drunk with videos. Jeff Marshall. That would have been about four or five years ago now with the W Stations. I think I'm on the Manchester Stadium, one, I want to say. Right, I'm managing to speed now, so we need to do something about that. Yeah, thanks very much, Nationwide. Awesome. Maximum fix Liverpool... Uh, lo Liverpool. Location livery. <laughs> locomotive location livery is at Liverpool Lime Street. Really, the ore terminal reception's in 4.8 miles, so we don't really get much of a run on this, do we? That's um, disappointing. I thought we were going to get more mainline running. I think, as Northern Princess Production said, we should have done one of the 31 runs, but never mind. Max Welpin, <laughs> now you can get Josh to do the Christmas washing up. So for those of you who don't know, I made, I made a wager with my son um, before Christmas which was if I got to 10k subscribers before Christmas, he was doing the washing up Christmas Day. And if I didn't, I had to buy him this game he wanted. Um, yeah, so he ended up getting the game he wanted. So I'm buying. fine with like the the rain on everything looks like track wise and stuff it just looks a bit whitewashed um i know the water does kind of change the color of the ballast and stuff like that and the way the light reflects off it but it just looks a little bit too whitewashed to me so we've got some flooding going on over there as well Drunk weather videos, what's your favourite freight and passenger train? Oh, that's a really, really good question. So, um, out, of the, out of the stuff that I sign or have signed, um, 
Class 73 is my favourite locomotive to drive freight wise. Favourite passenger train um, that I've driven would be the 395 Titan 395. I'd, I'd really like to drive a Voyager. I know it's probably controversial, but I'd really like to drive a drive a Voyager. There we go, down some tractor action. Pipes hanging off the front. That no, nobody stowed the pipes away in the front. They're just hanging there. Guys, should we play again? Come on, we've, we've, we've got to get this. We've got to get this location. I think I think we might have one more round in this, and then we'll do a reveal. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Maxwell Win Microwave Voyager. Yeah, I quite like them though, Max. I, I, I... Yeah, bloody shunters, says Dan. <laughs> What can I say, Dan? What can I say? Pace of Voyager and HST are my top three. Do you know what, Drunk Weather Videos? I, I, yeah, I'd, I'd agree. I've never driven a DMU. I'd really like to drive um, a DMU. I've, I've driven EF, several EFUs, never a DMU. I'd, I'd really like to drive a DMU. Uh, GJ Barnard, you are the third one on my screen with number 12. Let's play. Locomotive livery location. I think Northern Princess Productions one in twelve. So. It's quite a di quite a difficult one. This I think location wise. Quite difficult. I I'm going to give you one more, you know, because I'm I'm kind. That one as well. See if that that kind of changes the dynamic at all. What your thoughts are, guys? Like, what are you thinking? Yeah, auto correct. Every time I make a spelling error, Dan, that's what I blame you on, too. So, yeah, no, it was auto correct. Jonathan thinks it's a 37 at Edinburgh Waverley. Nigel, a pace is a bus of rails and a bloody good year of indeed. Maxwell is definitely going for Liverpool Lime Street there. Some transport forces in the firm. Dan Inverness looks like a shit. Lord Prince of Productions, that's Waverley. Very confident there. Definitely Edinburgh Waverley. Some transport force 66 is Derby. Incidentally, guys, if you are enjoying um, locomotive location delivery that we do in the stream, I am now playing uh, locomotive location delivery on my social media channels, primarily Facebook and Instagram. So there is the same board over on um, Facebook and Instagram. New reveal every single day um, with a uh, full reveal on Saturday. So head over to my um, social channels. I'll put those on the screen once again. Um, if you want to play locomotive location delivery, head over to there, and you will find the uh, the week long game. Don't forget to follow and subscribe and do all those kind of likey things. High speed dad rail. We're back to 60. I can do locos and livery so not locations. I, I'm probably the same, Dan. I'm not. I'm not particularly well travelled on the, um, the railway network. I, I know the kind of the south and the southeast reasonably well, but anything out of that area, um, unless it's iconic, I'm, I'm just going to use the screen. Or oh, someone's upset. Night. Jonathan, yellow signals ahead. So I've been I've been for a um, cut of rising class 37 instrument measurement trains. I've reconducted on 37s. 
and I must say they are very noisy and very uncomfortable. The seating position is really weird on them. Um, you're incredibly high up as well. You go under a bridge and go through tunnels and stuff. It's like it almost feels like you're not going to make it. Or you're going to clip the roof of it. They are they are really really high up driving cab wise. Um, but yeah, uncomfortable, noisy, and cold. If I'm being honest with you, but I like them. They have they have that element of nostalgia. Right, there's a faulty coming out, let's get some... If I was driving properly, I'd be notching back slowly. My driving is atrocious. Northwest Tracing One. If Pacer and Tracing Mod 2 would be great, especially in 142. I'd like to see um, I'd like to see some more up-to-date routes in Tracing Mod 2, if I'm being honest with you. Um, it'd be really nice to see. Obviously, Tease Valley's based in sort of, I think this is the 90s, I want to say. Spirit of Steam, um, Northern Transpennine. It'd be nice to get some up-to-date stuff as well. Right, one yellow, and we have a B. I can see it looks like B reception rope or something like that. Uh, there's a 10 coming. Dad Rouse speeding. Dan H can't be as awkward as 69. I can reach behind you for the power tower. The power tower, I like that. Yeah, actually, Dad, I, I'll be honest with you, the 69s, when I first saw the cab, first sat in it, it was really awkward where the power position is, but um, having done a few miles in them now, quite a few turns in them, I, um, yeah, I, I don't mind them actually, the, the driving position is not all that bad. Yeah, Northwest train spotting, um, no, no, no tea and biscuits for that, because this is, um, this predates OT, uh, OTDRs, on train data recorders, so there's no black box downloads on this, so, uh, Unless the manager's out with a radar gun, nobody knows you've done it. So. Look, we're, we're, just, we're just kind of speeding all the way now because it's me going home train. Yeah, Dan, that's one of the things on those. If you push your seat back, you can't open the cab door. It, it whacks against the seat. Okay, guys, let's jump into Discord for one last time. 16, oh, look at that, two large logos together, 66 and 69. Tunbridge West Yard. I must have missed that. I would have had a picture of that myself. Row is playing um, SimSig by the looks of it. Right, let's see if we can at least stop in the right place. <laughs> We've overrun the failing point. We're going to derail now because the points are set against us or something. Oh, they weren't set against us. Right, how do we do? That's got to give me like a really, really bad score. Yeah. Oh, he's still got a silver medal. Look at all this speeding and I still got a silver medal. What is going on with that? 
what is going on with that? That is terrible. Northern Princess Productions, I'm not aware of any train. Large logo does not look good on. Yeah, that's that's very true, actually. Very true. Okay, guys. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Do you know what? I think you, you all got the locomotive really, really quickly in the livery. Um, 37 large logo. It's got to be. Location-wise, let's press this button here. Branch Line Society 37, for that matter. 37403. And that is indeed, as a few of you said towards the end, uh, Edinburgh Waverley Station. Joseph Adams, hello. Welcome to the end of the stream. Yeah, Edinburgh Waverley. So well done to everybody who got that. Don't forget, guys, as well, we are playing over on the socials. So head over to the socials. That would be awesome to see you over there and have a guess on the um, one that is running now. Uh, 49, are you lovely people still here? When that one buggers off. There we go. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. That would be awesome. 10K subs, guys, is absolutely amazing. And I honestly mean... Um, Thank you to each and every one of you for um, subscribing. Thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. And, and just thanks for kind of joining me on the streams and coming in and chatting to me and um, mocking me when I get things wrong because that's absolutely fine because we, we do like a bit of banter around here. So, um, yeah, no, it's all good. Really, really appreciated. So there we go. Tees Valley. Um, really, really enjoying that route. That's a really nice route. Uh, I did say West Cornwall Local. I haven't done West Cornwall Local for, local for a long time. Um, so I am hopefully, depending on my work schedule, going to be streaming Saturday. If I stream Saturday, there will also be a Patreon-only stream on Saturday as well. Um, but I'll advertise that to uh, Patreon supporters. You'll get a notification of that. Um, and if I stream on Saturday, we'll have a go on the West Cornwall Local. We'll, we'll do some more 150 action on the West Cornwall Local. So I haven't done that route um, for a little while now. So there we go, guys. Uh, five o'clock tomorrow, there will be a video out all about the sort of stuff that I keep in my backpack. There will be a video out about GSMR soon because I've been promising that for ages and it's half made and I just need to finish it. Um, but there we go. And um, I am literally just rabbiting now. So I'm going to press that button there. I'm going to thank you very, very much for watching this special edition of Spad Rail. Look out for the 10K special. That'll be the next thing. And uh, thank you, everybody. And